Winter driving can be notably unpleasant, particularly if your car's heater isn't operating. Nothing keeps you toasty and stuffy in your car like a good heater. Unfortunately, heating system issues are rather frequent. In this short video, we go over the most frequent causes of your car heater blowing cold air instead of warm. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Low Coolant Level A low coolant level is actually the most frequent cause of your car's inoperable heat. Fortunately, checking the coolant level is quite simple. Find the reservoir for the coolant. It usually contains a red, green, or blue fluid. The word coolant is also printed on the cap of most car models. If you are unsure which reservoir to search for, consult your vehicle's service manual. A max and min sign ought to be present on the reservoir as well. It is definitely time to refill it if the coolant level is below the minimum indicator or if there is none visible at all. Coolant can reach boiling temperatures, so be careful not to open it while the engine is hot. It might be necessary to bleed the car's cooling system after the refill if the coolant level has dropped too low, which could have led to air bubbles in the coolant systems. It's also important to have any coolant leaks fixed right away if your coolant level is low. Broken heater flaps. Your dashboard has flaps underneath it that control the flow of coolant through the heating core or airflow. Your heater may not work as intended if one of these flaps or the electric actuators that operate them is broken. When you use a diagnostic computer to scan the system, you will probably find an error code on the flaps of your more recent car if they have electric motors. Locate the flaps and observe whether they move in response to adjustments made to the heater control. They are probably broken if they don't. On many car models, it can be challenging to see them because they are frequently tucked away deep beneath the dashboard. These actuators can also lose their programming, in which case a diagnostic scanner is required to reset them. Broken heater controls. There are several controls inside the car that are used to control the heating. Sitting in your car, you can adjust the temperature and other settings. Therefore, it's possible that the only damaged or stuck controls are the ones. These controls are extremely prone to damage because they are frequently constructed of inexpensive materials like plastic. You can find a lot of online YouTube videos that demonstrate how to fix the heating controls. Wires from the heater control to the actuator were used in older cars, and these cars frequently had plastic parts to which the wires were attached break. Unfortunately, this usually requires replacing the heater control unit. The heater control units in newer cars are frequently entirely electronic. Fortunately, these rarely fail, but when they do, you have to replace the entire unit. Malfunctioning thermostat The thermostat is in charge of ensuring that the engine in your car warms up rapidly and stays warm once it does. The engine may never reach operating temperature if the thermostat malfunctions. In this instance, the air produced by the car's heating system may be warm, but it is not nearly as hot as it ought to be. There is a good chance that there is a problem with your thermostat if your temperature gauge indicates that the car never reaches the operating temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. Air in the cooling system. Air in the coolant system is terrible because it can lead to engine overheating, which can seriously harm your engine. If the coolant level was previously extremely low or if you've recently replaced any coolant system components, air may enter the system. In rare instances, a faulty or leaky head gasket may also be the cause. Airlocks frequently become lodged in the car's heater core, causing the heater to blast frigid air. Bleeding the car's cooling system is necessary to remove air from it. If you lack the necessary knowledge, the process can be quite challenging, so we advise having a repair shop handle it for you. Clogged Heater Core Your heating core may have failed or become clogged if nothing appears to be working. Since the heating core is the central component of your heating system, its failure will affect the entire system. Rust and other debris within the cooling system can occasionally clog the heater core. To get rid of this, you may need to replace the heater core entirely, but other times a simple flush will suffice. The heating core is a costly part that can be difficult to replace because it is frequently situated far beneath the dashboard. Depending on the brand and model of your car, a mechanic could charge you anywhere from $600 to $1,000. So, first of all, you should carefully diagnose the causes, find the roots of the problem, and then, fix it. Hope the information was helpful to you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. You can also become a sponsor of the channel. Link in the description below.